Welcome back guys, we're back again with another tutorial on WordPress. This time we're going to be going over how to embed mini games onto your site. And by that I mean them fun little addictive mini games that you play on internet sites. And this will help boost your page views and also how long people are actually spending on there. Because if they like the game, um, they could spend anywhere from 5 minutes, 10 minutes, up to an hour playing these games. So let's get started and for that you're going to need to log on to your WordPress dashboard. Now as you saw there, all my options were on different pages. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to create a brand new page. Um, dedicated for another mini game. For that, you can either come to the plus sign up here or to pages, and we can then go to page and create a new page. So, this one we're going to call Sharks. It's a shark related mini game, and let's head over to a site um, that will allow you to embed their games. So, for this example, I'm going to be using Addicting Games here. They have a section with embeddable games which they do allow you to share, and you can just head down here and just find one that you want. So, I'm going to go and select this Hungry Shark one here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the game. Now, once you've loaded up and you scroll down, you're going to see here that we have an embed game option. So, if you click here, and you can highlight all of this section and then copy it or just tap the button underneath to copy it also. So let's head back to our page now and we're going to open a new block and we're going to be looking for custom HTML. So if you just search in the search bar there, you're going to see custom HTML. So let's click that now. And here you can right click and paste. So one of the things that's going to let you do is preview it first. And as you can see straight away, the dimensions are not right. This is going to be unplayable. Um, let's come to a preview. Let's see what it looks like on a mobile. And yeah, that, that's going to be pretty hard to play on your mobile. Let's check it out on the desktop. And you're not going to be able to play that either. So if we click back on here and you click onto HTML, and this isn't going to require a great deal of coding or any coding at all, it's basically just changing the width and the height. Now, if I come over to my Balloons Tower Defense 4 game, I've changed this to 650 by 580. So let's try that, see if it fits nicely in the page. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to take out the 100 and the percent mark. I'm going to write 650 here and then we're going to come to the height and we're going to take the 100 and the percent mark out and we're going to put 580 of course making sure that they're staying in between the quotes. Now if we hit preview it should look a little bit different and as you can see here it actually shows properly now. Let's just go ahead and do a preview um, on the desktop first which we are so let's have a look on tablet it looks fine on tablet and on the phone it looks okay as well. So let's go ahead and preview it in a new tab make sure it's actually playable. Now it all seems to be fine, let's tap the game, and it's all going through as it should, so I'm going to assume that we have got a working game here. Perfect. Oh, and that's probably why it was shown on a mobile screen like this. Now, of course, you can change the width of this particular game, but it seems to be um, quite a thin game, or it looks like it's got maximums of the width here, so I probably wouldn't even need to bother changing the width as long as it covers this area so the whole game plays. Let's go ahead and press play here. And you've got yourself an embedded mini game on your site. Now, of course, I would actually recommend adding some information on here, possibly some links, maybe back to addictive games, just to help your score as well um, and optimize your site. Of course, make sure that your uh, URL slug is changed. There's not some weird number that you've uh, left from embedding the game. And then you can go ahead and publish. Now, let's go ahead and view page. And as you can see, the URL is jdogfish.com forward slash shark. So that's fine. Looks good. Um, and as we saw before, the game is fully working, we can tap it and now play it. Now let's say you wanted to add this to the menu straight away. If you haven't watched our other video on how to do this, you can just head over to Customize, come down to Menus, go to the menu that you've already got set up. You can add an item, and let's go ahead and add the Shark page. Now if we just line it up underneath the mini games here, we'll go ahead and Publish, and let's go make sure that we can actually search for this now. And as you can see, it comes up in our little drop down menu. And if you're looking to get yourself online and haven't already, I'd very much recommend going over to check out Seekerhost. They've got some great packages, secure server hosting, and you can get yourself up and online in 60 seconds. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Bye bye.